Good afternoon, I'm Bill Nosel with NASDAQ and I'm here with Kieran Narsu from Digital Reasoning. Kieran, we've worked together previously and now our paths have crossed again as NASDAQ Smarts and Digital Reasoning have announced a strategic partnership. Maybe you can explain just a bit more about the unique approach that Digital Reasoning is taking in the surveillance space. I'd love to. And by the way, it's fantastic to see you too. I'm looking forward to working with you guys very much. So one of the core differentiators of our solution is that we're a cognitive computing platform. And we rely on machine learning and natural language processing algorithms to read large volumes of unstructured data like chats and emails to pull out the relevant facts and entities that we find in them. And our machine learning algorithms are very well trained to identify very nuanced behaviors such as collusive or manipulative behavior that we find as evidenced in the documents. And I think the real big distinction between us and some of the other products on the market or the other approaches are though that they focus on the use of a word. And as you and I as humans know, we, you know the context in how we say something is as important as what we say. So that understanding of human language is really what sets us apart. Well, we believe strongly in what digital reasoning is doing, and we're really pleased to have engaged in a strategic partnership that lets us bring our joint capabilities to firms across the financial services landscape. But let's talk right now about some of the immediate benefits that this partnership brings to the market. Sure, yeah. I, I think one of the ones that leaps out for me the most is, is efficiency. Uh, as you know well, the compliance organization is cost center, and they have to have fairly tight controls on the time of their analysts. And, Systems that generate huge volumes of false alerts are very um, time consuming and costly to, to operate. So what we are able to do is by reducing the volume of those false alerts because we're more intelligent about what we alert on uh, is a significant time saver. I think the second piece that really jumps out at us is context. If you have that knowledge of the context of communication and you can start to determine whether that's a behavior that I need to monitor more closely or to further investigate or to escalate. Uh, so one of the most obvious benefits also, going along with what I said uh, a moment ago, is prioritization. To be able to take outputs and alerts from two world-class systems like Smart and, and Digital Reasoning Synthesis, and to be able to match and overlay them on one another to start to look at areas where you should prioritize your efforts. So you've described how together we can provide context and efficiency to the analysts. Let's go one step further and talk about how our relationship changes how surveillance can and should be delivered in a more holistic manner. I think for digital reasoning, our belief is the combination of the data from a source like NASDAQ and a source like digital reasoning where there's this rich knowledge representation that spans all of the communications type and all the data types. We can start to surface behaviors that we weren't even aware of that were happening in the system that uh, will point us in some very interesting new directions. And that to me is the core of what holistic surveillance should be about. You've described some really unique capabilities in the digital reasoning solution that together with NASDAQ Smart lets us design solutions that can be tailored for firms of all shapes and sizes from hedge funds and asset managers to mid-tier and multinational broker dealers. Karen, I want to thank you very much for being here today. It's always great seeing you and I'm really looking forward to taking this partnership to the next level. Thank you too. I'm looking forward to it as well. Thanks for the time.